All right, so we are here with Daniel Ha, who is the founder of Discuss, a uh, online commenting engine for uh, blogs. And uh, Daniel, thanks for taking the time out to uh, speak with us. Yes, sir. And can you uh, tell us, just give people that don't know about you guys a little bit of a quick overview? I'm 92, by the way. I think you're probably 92. Uh, that's yeah. Cool. That's awesome. We won't put, sure. Yeah, we can do that. We wanted to do custom shirts yeah. that said I'm number, but yeah, yeah. you know, the uh, setting up each one of those is just cost prohibitive. Next year we'll get a sponsor for work. So. Cool. Nice. So can you tell us just a little bit about what you guys are up to for uh, people that aren't maybe aware of you? They should sure, be yeah. So Discuss is basically what you said. A, I think you described as a commenting engine. Mm -hmm. um, I usually say a you know, commenting system, commenting platform, discussion tool. Mm -hmm. Various things. It's basically it's basically you know service that powers the comments and you know discussion on publishing sites like blogs, newspapers, magazines, those sort of things. Um, the great thing about it is it really augments and improves the user experience on the commenter side, mm -hmm. and it also makes it you know much easier to manage. It improves the workflow in terms of administrator tools for the uh, you know publishers themselves. Um, one of the biggest draws of discuss is the notion of a linked commenter community. Uh, there's you comment on one site using our system. You have a profile, comment of history, um, something that collects your contributions and you know all the actions you made on those sites, you know, with you, your reputation as you go from site to site. Right. So that's sort of discuss. Sure. So and one of the big conversations out there, it's been going on for a while, is that you know some people comment on friend feeds, some people comment on a blog, some yeah. people Twitter about it, and, and all these conversations kind of pop up all over the place. Yeah. And you guys are working to kind of, you know, like you said, create profiles push comments back and forth. And can you talk a little bit about sure. that yeah. issue and where yeah. you guys are So, so bridging conversations as a goal in general is something that's pretty big for us. Um, we've been working with a, a, service, a new service called Uber Review. Um, what they do is they connect the conversations together from these different services. And we, we, we tap into that. It helps us um, in some of what we're doing around that. And we tie it to the comments themselves. So now when you, you know, post comments, it goes to friend feed. It takes it from friend feed. You know, it finds comments about your article from Dig. You know, when people are tweeting it, it gets those comments as well. Right. So, you know, I think it's about half dozen or so you know, services that um, they're helping us, you know, crawl and find find comments from. Very cool. And as uh, the conversations kind of change online, you know, we everyone started blogging. Yeah. Then we're now onto microblogging, video blogging, yeah. um, all sorts of different stuff. Where do you kind of see everything going in terms of the online conversation, and where's yeah. where, do, where do you guys play that? Right well, I mean. Um, Publishing in general, you, know, you have different ways to do it. You have video, you do a short form with, with Twitter or even microblogging. But the thing with, with, with commenting is it's still the number one way people interact with websites. It's you know it's always prevalent. It's always going to be there for people to come and you know have their say on any on any article, any piece on the web. So uh, you know as, as all these different publication um, you know platforms and methods um, become more popular or just uh, um, become more prevalent, um, discuss. I mean, the comments in general is just going to be more important because it's still going to be a thing that stays the same. That's what people are going to be used to. Um, you can only make that more interactive for people. I think people are more incentivized to start contributing to things um, before they get to blogging. If you know they they're they're able to leave those comments in a very very um, easy way, but at the same time they feel like they have some sort of ownership over them. Very cool. So what's next for uh, discuss? I know you guys recently you released an iPhone version. Of, uh, discuss. You also integrated Facebook Connect. What else? What are some other things coming down the? Yeah, the so we're releasing some new things that is helping the way people, um, basically, uh, developers use Discuss um, on their site. So it's much more skinnable. It's customizable. They can they can um, plug in different features into it. It's it's a much more robust system that you know first of all loads a lot faster. So there's there's a lot of things we're doing there. Um, we've been doing a lot of studies to see how people use Discuss, and we're finding you know looking for ways to make people interact with sites um, much more using our system. If we can say that Discuss ups your you know the, your audience engagement level you know, this much, then it's, I think it's a pretty compelling um, feature. Definitely, excellent. Well, uh, Daniel, best of luck to you guys, and thanks for taking a few minutes to talk. To us. Yeah, thank you.